Testing the GM1 by candlelight. Two candles burning bright. Yeah, I'm not going to go into poetry here because I don't know any. <clears throat> so, this is the Pentax 50mm 1.4 set one stop in, which I believe is F2. And I've decided to test a bunch of cameras in a prio mode where the camera will respect the fact that I'm setting a 180 degree shutter in this case that I'm shooting 24p then that's a 150th shutter I'm letting it choose the ISO and I can't quite see what it's choosing it's set at 150th though by candlelight so its ISO is pretty high I'd say um, there's various items sitting there you can see a a bore brush? No, it's not a bore brush. That's a synthetic brush. Synthetic um, super badger. Um, you know, some toothpicks, a couple of Pinot uh, aftershaves. For those who like the 50s, the one on the right is the one that the barbers have been using since probably the 20s. The one on the left is Bay Rum, which is a uh, really spicy, wild. And that's Clubman Pinot talc in the back on the left. <clears throat> and um, there's some toothpicks that I'm just using because they're colorful. So, meanwhile, uh, that's pretty much all this test is doing, just giving a few moments to look at the sharpness and clarity uh, at 1080p. And I'm going to switch it off now and then switch to a different camera. I'll be naming each of them in the audio, so no big deal. Oh, you're listening to the GM uh, one's audio as well. Um, I'm running on a uh, aftermarket battery. Finally arrived at ETSE, I think it is. Although it actually doesn't have the letters on it. If you heard that, that's my default um, text tone. That is the Predator, and it's probably the most awesome text tone you can have because it scares everybody. Anyway, that's it. This is the GH2. Now it turns out that I had to vary the exposure here. I had to manually set it. Reason being that it's um, not designed as the newer ones are because this had such full manual control that I guess they didn't really think about allowing for shutter ref uh, reduction and so on in a prio and other PASM modes it doesn't seem to be there I, I just can't find it in the menus and uh, that sort of makes sense if you're thinking of it as a video machine with full manual control why would you dick around with that and so um, I'm guessing that's what's going on here so I set it to fit 150th and it's f2 just like the other cameras hmm. 3200 ISO set manually that may be slightly uh, a brighter exposure, I'm not sure. It looks like it might be a bit brighter, uh, but that's okay for now. I don't think it's a crime. Um, if it's overexposed, well, I'll say to be. Uh, I like how it looks on the back of the screen, so for now we'll leave it. This is hacked with Cake 2.3, and it, it pops about uh, 60 megabits per second, so we'll see. I'll, I'll put the exact number in <coughs> to the video. Um, and that's about it. Let's see anything else that's interesting. Not really. At this um, bit rate, it's showing only an hour and 58 minutes left on this card. So you get about two hours on this card at the bit rate of G. So um, you have to be pretty careful if you're going to crank your bit rates way up. Uh, the uh, G5's video shows how. Um, you know how you can obtain excuse me eight hours of video you do that by cutting it way back in quality I've always thought of the G5 as being brilliant but uh, this I think is going to be considerably better in every way we'll take a look though okay so now we have the GX1 also in a prior mode which means by the way I'm not using the so-called high ISO mode there's enough light from the candles to uh, film by, apparently, these things that are close to it. 
<clears throat> so I have it set also at 150th using a flick reduction mode. And uh, well, that's about it. I focused again as as I did on the GM1. I focused on the lettering on the brush in the middle. That's on the handle, and uh, basically F2 is enough, I think, to give us a uh, clear lettering across the board, ish. There's not much else to say. Oh, I guess there is. This is. Um, a hacked GX1 with Galaxian V1, not V2, which uses the GX, uh, the 8GH3 matrix. This is a V1, and um, it tends to push around 35 megabits per second. But I'll probably punch in here some text telling you what it is really shooting at, or what the average video um, <clears throat> megabits per second is according to uh, I don't know Windows probably. So, uh, I guess that's it. Alright, that's the G5. Um, same settings as everybody else. This is the third camera I'm filming on. It looks a little darker than the others. That may be just how it's set up, I don't know. Well, it's not that it's how it's set up, because they're all on A-Prio. This one's got uh, F2, just like the others, manually set on the Pentax 1.4. Um, reason I don't go with 1.4 is it's not very sharp, but it's gorgeous at F2, 50 millimeter, which means, of course, 100 millimeter equivalent. From about three or four feet, those candles are barely nine inches apart, perhaps, center to center, maybe a foot, not quite. So you're seeing basically a width of a foot. Um, this is a, a G5, like I said, so it's running at, I'm filming a 30p, 17, I think it's 17 uh, megabits per second. And, um, what else is there to say? Uh, well, well a prio. Uh, I set them all at zero EV compensation. It does respect it, I could actually make it brighter by forcing it that way, but I want to see how they all look right at that level. I always find the G5 that has absolutely gorgeous video, so we'll see how this compared to the others. Um, isn't really very much else to say. By the way, this card says that there is approximately 8 hours and 18 minutes of video left. It's a 64 gig card by Polaroid PNY. <clears throat> that's pretty cool, you gotta say. Anyway, that's it. All right, this is a, a GF3. <coughs> Excuse me. It's um, the second GF3 body I acquired. This is unhacked, so this is the best it's going to do in PASM. I could uh, also set it to uh, IA plus or night mode to kick in high ISO, but I'm not going to do that. It's um, all the other ones are handling it pretty fine at normal ISOs, so we'll see how this looks. <coughs> so. I do have flick reduction at 50, and I know I'm shooting at 30, so I should really be 60 for a 180 shutter, but I'm leaving them all the same, just to be fair, so they all will use approximately the same ISO at F2. Um, that's really about it. This isn't very rocket science-y here. Try and uh, work it up to a minute and a half like the others-ish, so we have something to compare. It did seem reasonably sharp, but um, you have to remember that this is the 12 megapixel sensor. So uh, being an unhacked GF3 at 12 megapixels, um, that sensor wasn't a spectacular video machine, although hacking a GF1 apparently makes for some rather impressive output. But um, GF3 does look good, and this is a 1920 uh, 1080p so <clears throat> um, yeah I guess that's about it next video is going to be the original GF3 body I have that um, packed at cake 2.3 and instead of giving us whatever this is probably around 17 megapixels sorry megabits per second yeah it does 49 and we'll see that in a moment 
And finally, <coughs> my last uh, Panasonic M4 thirds body is the um, GF3 original body and it's shooting at the same settings as the other GF3 but I've hacked both the audio and the video with K2.3 so 49 mega bits per second approximately and the uh, audio is improved too as it is in all the hacked bodies so I guess we'll see if this is any better than the original GF3 body I've already dumped that to the front to the um, disc and uh, I found it was a bit weak um, in the uh, tip of the brush for example you know all the tips of the hairs seemed a bit mushy but that's the knock on this sensor right the old 12 megapixel uh, sensor is a bit weak that way certainly on the GF3 it's considered weak you can hack it to improve it by about 2.5 times a bit rate which is what this is but you know you can only go so far with this I find it's nice for close-ups most people do, do tend to agree so I would keep this body to record extra camera angles, close-ups of strings, close-ups of faces, keyboards, that kind of thing. It's a cheap little body. Um, I can't get much for it. Well, 100 bucks maybe on this one. Um, and for really not much better than that. And um, so it's the kind of body you would keep around just for that moment when you want to throw another couple of angles into a video. The GM1 is uh, even smaller but vastly better videos, not even a contest. But uh, this one's really small otherwise and it's easy to carry. GX1 is better than this by quite a bit for video and for um, uh, shooting stills as well because of the 16 megapixel sensor. But this is a pretty decent body for 100 bucks or like 89 bucks at KEH these days. Can't really complain. So that's about it. End of test.